So Don said you got about five guys working at the inside positions that you really like. Yeah. What, talk a little bit about that group. Uh, you know, I think Jordan Glasgow has done a great job. Uh, Cam McGrone really done a good job. Uh, Devin Gill, uh, you know, going down the line. I mean, pretty much everybody in there. Um, everybody we've had this summer is kind of taking their game to another level. And, um, and I, we're, I've been really, really impressed, uh, you know, in every which way. Coverage, rushing the passer, um, fitting in the run game. I think everybody's done a really good job. <laughs> Obviously, you weren't here last year, but uh, Josh Uche, when we had him a couple days ago, said that he's just seen, like, the front sevens just faster because everyone's running to the ball. What does that look like? I just think, you know, the guys are flying around. Um, practice, I think, at Coach Brown's deep bench, you kind of, you know, everything. There's a lot of cutting it up. Uh, the guys have been really, really impressive. Uh, we had a practice last night where I felt like, <clears throat> excuse me, I felt like uh, our guys were flying around about as good as they have the entire summer. So um, Josh is one of those guys. He's He's been rushing the passer, you know, fitting in the run game, covering tight ends. Um, so everybody, I think Khalid Hudson, another guy, um, everybody's really just been, you know, full tilt and uh, been really, really impressed with the speed of our linebacker core in general. He said, Uche said that the Sam and the Viper aren't playing together at the same time, but he's a defensive end sometimes. In the spirit of getting the best players on the field, I, I mean, how do you make that work with those two athletes? I just think, you know, from a package perspective, uh, Coach Brown's always done a great job with that. You know, getting uh, different groups of guys on the field, you know, at certain times. And uh, in this system, we have more packages than, than anywhere I've ever been. Um, so I think what Josh is alluding to um, is just playing with different personnel groups. Sometimes we do have them on the field um, and our base stuff. Yeah, there's, you know, you have some times where the Sam's on the field without the Viper. Uh, sometimes the Viper's on the field without the Sam, but the ability to be creative and, and what Coach Brown has uh, <clears throat> developed in this system is is pretty amazing. It, it gives you a chance to get a myriad of different guys on the field. So you will see, you know, uh, Josh and Kalik, those guys on the field at the same time. Uh, and then there'll be times where they won't be on the field at the same time. So how do they complement each other? I think they're, um, that's a great question. I think they're they're very complimentary, complimentary of each other. Um, Josh is, uh, you know, a little bit of a bigger body, has some hybrid type of qualities in terms of being a pass rusher, uh, fitting in the box as a true Sam linebacker. Um, and then Kalik uh, is a little bit different. He's a little bit of a different guy. You know, he has a lot of safety, uh, a lot of properties you'd be looking for in a safety, you know, a lot of the capability to play in the post, on the hash, to cover down. Uh, and he can also rush the passer. So they're, they're definitely different guys. Um, and I think that that's what, you know, probably leading in or following up on your question as well uh, that's what makes it really unique you know they having them on the field at the same time there's some some pretty amazing uh, athletes out there some some great qualities that you got a chance to, to coach and, and um, basically be creative with if you will what does Josh need to continue to do better to be considered that every down player um you know I think he's I think he's there in terms of a guy that could play every down for us we don't have any uh, you know, issue playing him every down of the game. Um, he's a great pass rusher, as people know, but he's really stepped his game up, in my opinion, um, kind of, uh, you know, as a linebacker fitting in the box, playing on the tight end, doing some different things. Um, he's been able to move around uh, like he did last year, but he's really become, I think, a, a really well-rounded player for us. And the way he's gone about it is probably the most impressive thing. You know, he's done an incredible job uh, throughout the summer, even being here for the first time in the spring last year uh, and all through this, this fall camp uh, of doing extra, really studying hard. You know, he's a student of the game, loves to sit and watch tape, um, whatever it may be, you know, pass rushing, run game as a box linebacker, coverage. So uh, he's an awesome guy to coach, man. He, he's a great human being, and, uh, but, but a relentless uh, player in practice, awesome guy to be around. I think he's doing a great job with all that stuff. With the Viper position being such a unique position, just how have you seen Khalid kind of make that his own over the years? Uh, that's that's a great question. Um, he is he's an exceptional athlete, so he's he's a different type of guy in my opinion. I've coached a lot of really good football players, and you know guys that I, I have a, a high opinion of, um, and he would be you know certainly up near the top of that. And I'm talking about guys who. 
you know, continue to play after college. Um, and because the reason why I say that is he has so many um, different facets of his game. You know, he really can, you know, coaching the guy is an ability to do some things um, that a lot of people just can't do. So uh, he is a, an aggressive or violent pass rusher. He is um, and productive, obviously, in his career here. Um, you know, in the run game, when you talk about being a linebacker, he understands and can do all that stuff and excel at it, you know, at a high level. Um, and then he can excel in coverage, which is pretty amazing, you know, playing zone, playing man. So um, he's got about as much a um, I don't, broad skill set of anybody I've ever been around. So I think he's a special guy in that regard. That's why, you know, saying he's, he's kind of made it his own, um, there's not many guys like him, and I think that's how he's been able to do that. He discussed in July the sense of urgency. I guess, what have you seen from him in a leadership standpoint? I don't know if I've ever been around somebody that practices that hard all the time. Um, that's about the best compliment I could ever give somebody as a coach. Um, and I've coached some guys that have practiced hard. I mean, like mm -hmm. maniacs, you know. Um, we're awesome to coach. But you can turn on that tape, and that guy is running. I mean, there's no, you know, there's no off switch. So he's got a motor that just never stops. Um, that's been really, really impressive to me. And uh, he, he, like I said, he's an awesome guy to coach. That, so that sense of urgency, yes, it's, it's palpable and like it's visible when you turn the table. You can hear it if you're out of practice. You know, he's flying around and there's impact and, uh, you know, he's challenging people. Uh, so he, he's, he's, uh, he's doing a great job for us. You mentioned Cam McGrone earlier. What's, uh, what's allowed him to kind of take, uh, take that next step this, uh, this offseason? He's another guy I think is a fantastic athlete, um, great kid, and really has spent a ton of time um, studying. You know, he's been really, really aggressive about uh, being entrenched in the system. Uh, you know, another guy you could say that about, Jordan Anthony, he's done an unbelievable job. I mean, he, he might have led our, our spring, uh, our team in spring reps this year. You know, we had guys going in and out. And then, you know, I, I should have mentioned Josh Ross earlier. Obviously, he's had a, uh, an unbelievable camp. And uh, all those guys have just, like I said, answering that first question, They've all stepped up a little bit. The sense of urgency, you know, as you had alluded to um, earlier, that that um, I don't think that's just one guy. I think everybody's, you know, everybody's in the boat on that. Everybody's been really, really aggressive about understanding the system. What can I do extra? How hard can we actually practice and having uh, laser focus and detail in every drill that we do? So, who would be the two guys that you would put out there if the, you were starting the season tomorrow? Just I think we feel good about any of those guys. Okay. Honestly, yeah. You know, I, I, honestly, I think Coach Brown would tell you the same thing. Those guys are all um, playing at a really high level, so we feel good about all of them. And who's your backup, Sam, at this point, to Uche? Well, I think, you know, one of the guys who's had a great uh, great summer here is Michael Barrett. Mm -hmm. He's really stepped his game up a bunch, um, you know, and, and he's he's really a guy that's gotten better every day, taking all the, the workload seriously, taking a ton of reps. Um, and as another guy who, just a student of the game, you know, becoming more physical, uh, obviously was a very good athlete, great high school player, uh, but he's a guy who's, who's stepped up there and, and we feel good about him as well. The people that uh, focus on the personnel that you lost from last year, what don't they understand about what you have? Um, that's a good question. I mean, we'll, we'll certainly find that out the first week, right? But um, I just think we have a lot of guys that can run. You know, a lot of guys were physical um, and a lot of guys were emotionally invested in what we're doing. Just a lot of great people, so it's important to them. Um, they're going to practice and play as hard as they possibly can every day. Um, and you know, I, I, is it possible to replace a guy like Devin Bush in the linebacker core, who's a really high character guy, uh, unbelievable football player? You know, I, I don't know that. He is an impressive guy. You know, you watch him on tape. The guy made a lot of plays. But um, we have had a bunch of guys who have stepped up in that role in this spring and just really uh, impressed our coaching staff and and. Uh, like I said, we're emotionally invested in coming out, flying around every day. So I think that's what you'll see. You know, when the season starts, you're going to see guys flying around and be impressed with uh, the team speed and the physicality of our linebacker core. When you say you're more comfortable with any of them, I mean, do you want to be, do you want maybe starters to emerge or do you want to keep rotating throughout the season? I guess what is your Yeah, I, th I think, you know, in this in this defense, there's there's packages. You know, I think people who are, are Michigan fans have seen that. Um, so there's, there's going to be a lot of reps to go around, you know, we just, there's nothing better than feeling comfortable about putting a, a bunch of guys out there and saying, Hey man, we can win with him on Saturday. We can win with him on Saturday. You know, we can win with him on Saturday. Um, and that I just think speaks volumes about the players, you know, that, that they're really, 
uh, ordered and doing things right, and it's important to them, you know, to know the system. These guys know this system uh, about as good as anybody I've ever been around. You know, just in terms of players knowing exactly, not necessarily only what their role is, but uh, the other players around them. And that, that to me, is a credit uh, to Coach Brown, who he's he's created uh, that atmosphere and and within the system, it's. It's something that guys can learn, uh, you know, they can excel at. They not only understand what they're doing, but why they're doing it, you know. When, you have a, when there is somebody like Devin Bush who does so much, does that sometimes cause players to back out like Devin's got it? So, and now these guys are unleashed because he's not? Uh, I don't think so. That's probably a better question. Maybe the players will be able to answer that better than you. Uh, I watched that tape last year. I see, you know, everybody kind of flying around and being a part of it. Um, so, I, you know, that's never been the uh, – atmosphere or mentality here. I know Coach Brown's kind of on everybody about, you know, playing, uh, playing their best of ability all the time, best of their ability all the time. So, uh, no, I, I don't, I, I'd be hard for me to answer because I wasn't here last year. Um, but I, I certainly see everybody pulling, you know, from the same rope and, and pushing each other and playing as hard as they can right now, which I'm just really, you know, I've kind of hit that a couple times here, uh, you know, talking about how hard they're playing, but they're practicing at a really, really, you know, a, a, fast speed and, and at a high level. You've really. a few months with Don. How has he changed the way you think about defense and your approach? Um, you know, coaching with him um, is probably, I would not, I'm, I'm probably not smart enough to, to, get, <laughs> to put it into words um, or to, to do it justice. Um, what coaching with him has, has meant to me philosophically and just as a guy, you know, just being around him every day. Um, his attitude is, is infectious. He's a positive guy. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, the most important things in life, you know, in, in his mind are you know, being a good person. And, and he always says, hey, man, the most important thing you're going to do is be a dad. And uh, he does that every day. You know, he, he comes in here with the intention of making his family proud, making his kids proud. And, and uh, he wants that for our players. So uh, for me, that's, that's the type of guy you want to be around. And in terms of football, um, just his aggressive approach, his positivity, um, his ability to not be, you know, deterred by external factors and stay internally focused all the time um, has just been, I, you know, I can't do it justice to say uh, what a positive experience it's been to be around him, really. Early impressions of your uh, freshman linebackers? Um, I think Charles Thomas is a guy who's going to be a great player here. Um, Joey Velasquez is, is practicing his tail off. He's, he's really getting better every day. Um, you know, at the Viper, Sam type of role. Anthony Solomon is an incredibly bright guy. Um, just really, he, he practices his tail off. He's got, uh, again, a high motor guy, high character person. Um, and he's just, he's got a great way about him too. So all three of those guys we really, really like. We're excited, you know, about them. You found any pizza in here? Have I eaten any pizza here? You know what? I think I ate pizza every day when I was home in New Jersey over the break. So I was either in, in New York or New Jersey eating pizza. Um, I don't know. I've been, I've been bouncing around. I haven't tried this Detroit pizza yet, so I'm, I'm a little scared to try that. But I'm like, everybody says it's great, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a shot soon. Uh, but you guys got any, any places I should go? Or, or no? I'm, I'm asking for, you know, for a little help here. Domino, <laughs> Domino, yes. so, no doubt. No doubt. I, I can definitely try that. But... Um, no, yeah, I've I've, uh, I've enjoyed it being here though. Every, everything's been great, and uh, I definitely got to get out and, and hit a couple pieces. But maybe when camp's over, we'll you know get out a little bit. We're getting out late, so. But. Anything else for camp? <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.